we're trying to find out how quickly carbon gets into these grasslands and where that carbon goes in the soil. And the reason we're doing that is because we know from Richard Teague's work that soil carbon increases under AMP grazing, but we don't know how quickly that happens. We don't know where that carbon goes, uh, how long it's gonna be there. So it's really about getting a label into the soil so that we can effectively track that carbon and see where it's going. And literally it's kind of like you are what you eat, right? So if you eat lots and lots of cheeseburgers, you're gonna put on a lot of mass and get heavier. So if you imagine instead of a, a cheeseburger, you're now eating carbon 13 instead of carbon 12, which is maybe lettuce, you're gonna get heavier. And we can see that in the soil microbes, the soil fungi, the macrofauna, or anything that eats any of that microbial biomass will become heavier. So you can literally follow that back up the food chain. It's a body of evidence, really. You need more data to kind of begin to change people's perceptions. To do that, we need to do experiments like this in real systems with new technologies that most people don't have access to. So we're kind of pushing the boundaries, I guess. And it's always hard to go first, right?